This year's first robotics competition game was called Rapid React. We had only eight weeks to build, design, and program a 120 pound robot to play the game, which involved picking up balls from the floor, shooting them into a funnel, and then climbing monkey bars in the last 30 seconds. We used CAD to design parts, which we 3D printed and laser cut for rapid prototyping. We named the robot the Killer Rabot 2, after the Monty Python and the Holy Grail, which is our team's theme. Our first competition was the Greater Kansas City Regional. We were featured on the news. We are joined by Jack and Divya. They're part of this epic team. Look at this robot they're working on. They only had about six to eight weeks to build this thing. Jack, I'm going to start with you. Tell us all about your robot and why it's so cool. Well, so starting at the very bottom, we have a custom drivetrain that allows us to drive in all directions while resisting being pushed from other bots. Divya, I'm going to go to you now. Okay, first tell us what your team name is called. Uh, so we're the Kniggets from the Barstow School. I love it. And the and the rabbit hats, kind of tell us about that. Yeah, so our our mascot is the killer rabbit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Overall, we did great at the event, going 11 and 5, and captained our alliance to the semifinals, earning the high score of the tournament on two occasions. And one of our mentors, Brandon, won the Woody Flowers finalist award. Amelia Beagle, Jacuzzi, and I accepted the 2022 Safety Animation Award, sponsored by UL at the event. This was an international award, and we won first place. We also won the Innovation and Control Award for our multi-stage semi-autonomous climbing mechanism that was recognized for its ability to reliably allow our robot to climb to the tallest rung of the hangar monkey bars, but we didn't qual qualify for worlds yet. Central Missouri was a roller coaster in the we were super anxious because it was our last chance to qualify for a world, which is really difficult. We were super excited when Andy Shimamoto won the Volunteer of the Year Award. Our team also won the Team Spirit Award. While at the competition, I won the Dean's List Finalist Award. Congratulations to our first first Dean's List Finalist, Tyler Fogelgren. which made me feel elated because it wrapped up all of my years of robotics into one single award. However, right before my interview for the award, our robot got damaged when it fell off one of the rungs of the climber, and we had to rebuild part of the mechanism in a very short amount of time. But by the second day of matches, the team and the robot were firing on all cylinders, and we ended up on the third seated alliance. We made it all the way to finals, earning a spot at the first world championships. This position is presented to team 1939. Woo! We made it, we just slipped by, and I was so happy to be able to do that my senior year. I was so nervous about that, so it was really great. Yeah, um, for me it was really exciting to work with another team to help get us there. Um, I think something really special about FIRST Robotics is that like we work together in order to do really well and to succeed. First World Championship in Houston was amazing. We had the opportunity to meet and learn from the best teams all over the world and compete in front of 35,000 people. placing 16th in our division out of 76 teams, which is super impressive given the level of competition.
We also did cool team building exercises that we will remember for the rest of our lives. of Rice University with former Barca Robotic team captain Mark Lobotovsky and heard an inspiring speech from first founder and renowned inventor Dean Kamen. So we are the hope of the world. So thank you for being the hope of the world that more than ever needs hope. Now, Uh, for me, it's kind of meant a few things. I mean, technically, I've expanded my skills in you know, mechanical, programming, electrical, which has kind of pursued me to pursue a, uh, a STEM-related career. So now I'm majoring in computer science at college. Um, but not only that, it's also kind of enabled me to be in a community where other students have the same passion of mine. And FRC has kind of been one of those out, out one of those um, ways I, I can kind of show by skills. One of my favorite things about robotics is like the cooperation and basically the teamwork that we all have. And just like working together with so many different parts of the robotics team, it's just like, it, it's really enjoyable and it's nice to see how like as the season goes on, we all get closer and closer. Um, I think considering like robotics was the only like after school activity besides violin that I've done all four years of high school, I think I stayed because of like the sense of community of like me getting to be friends with people from all of the grades and feeling like I could accomplish something bigger than just like my own personal achievements. I mean, in upper school and middle school, I like dabbled in everything. Like I did sports, debate, and all of that. Um, but I like stuck with robotics because like the people here are also like super cool. And it's like, I feel like with sports and things, like everyone just gets so caught up in the competitiveness of it that like they don't actually value like creating relationships and having fun um, and I feel like the robotics team does a really good job of that. I am so proud of the team and everything they accomplished this year especially after coming out of uh, a couple years where we didn't really get to build a robot because of COVID and everything. Um, just to see the skill set grow that these kids have is amazing and awesome and I'm so excited for another season. And um, you know, remember this is like what Dean Cayman said: like everybody gets to go pro uh, in this particular sport. And so, just to see um, how these students' futures will unfold is going to be really exciting for me.